Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's get right back to it in the weekly. I love it. A, a, a strong unit, a semi-tanky unit, a peach. Honestly, let, let's take the most well-balanced team first. Let's take a mosquito, which gives us a chance to kill an enemy pig. Uh, and you know what? It'd be a nefarious turtle. You know, they're slow, but like you watch them because you don't know what they're gonna do. Thank you so much for the favorable trade, Mosquito. I feel vindicated, although either configuration probably would have won. Let's take you. Let's roll. Let's take you. And honestly, a 4-3 pig turning into a 5-4 next round seems very nice to me indeed. I think the pig's got some value this week. Now that cockroach is going to eat us alive. That's unfortunate. I feel like we, we draw this one. I can live with that. I'm still hunting for that first 10 win on, um, on video. We've done it on stream. I feel like we're hunting for it on video, but I, I don't feel like it's that far away. I've lost some respect for the Toucan. I'm not afraid to admit it. I honestly think the Stork is not very good at all, but I do think it can scale into goodness. So at the risk of being like a highly stupid, and just to be honest with you, I didn't love any of the other pets we had going on there. I'm, I'm willing to start our investment in it early. Remember, like, all, all I need for this unit is for it to... If it can one for one most of the time early, let's go. And maybe two for one in the late game, then I would consider that a dream. I don't consider a seagull to be a dream, but... I don't really think we need to level you, but I, 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 to be honest with you, I do kind of consider a 6-9 pig to be a dream on turn 4. Although we are, I mean, a giraffe would hit the spot. We're waiting for a lot of units that would really take us to the next level. So they, they got a full-on sniper team. I think they are going to surpass us here, and that's fine. So it's a nice team, lots of snipers. But we got two giraffes. And I actually think you could totally... Like, sell, sell, mostly, that's just for the HP buff. And then, run a little double giraffe scaling. And if I may, even doing a little bit of this afterwards. I think this is okay. 2-2 two, two stats being gained per turn. We could also buff the giraffes, there is that. Do three damage, let's go! <laughs> that's all I could ask for. We, we spawned the perfect thing out of our, out of our uh, stork. Okay, so we got to figure out what we're doing with this mosquito. I would be honest with you, I would trade it straight up for a tamarind. I would put some garlic on our pig. I would put some salsa on our you-know-whats. Now, what are we going to do? Are we gonna, we, I would take a snail. I would find a way to make a snail work. I would put some meat on a giraffe, and I would feel good about that. Yes, a croissant is meat in five turns, um, and then it's all upside from there, but I don't want to wait five turns. I also don't even want to come close to waiting for our lives to be over. It's a good play. I can't be too upset with you here. We drew. You had a strong team. Did you I mean did you see the mosquito? It was it was off the chain. We have good scaling. You know what? I know this seems a little backwards, but I'm willing to just get a caterpillar off the ground. I'll also be the first to tell you, I don't really think there's much benefit in us um, leveling our pig. There's always a benefit to leveling because you get a higher shop tier, right? But like, I don't think we really gain too much out of it on the pig specifically. God, this is strong in it. But I'm doing it anyway um, because it's kind of fun, right? Big pig, kind of fun. And then I'll wonder why I get to five wins. I will take my level. We're probably pretty close to hidden giraffe fall off, but that's whatever. It is what it is. I'll, I will take a seal. I'll continue buffing here, though. And you know what? I mean, I'll pay three gold for a salad. A sa may, I, may I say a salad with upside? I'm, and just don't be afraid to overwrite the seal in the future. Or the, the fortune cookie, I should say. Okay, this is horrendous news. Absolutely horrible news. So 
So what's our game plan? Live long enough for the caterpillar to pop. Helpful. But then what are we selling? <laughs> well, level me first. There's a lot to play with here. I think the easy... Wow, five life though? I hate to say it because we've invested a little. I think you could sell sealed giraffe. I know you could also play seal cow and then sell just giraffe. But I, I really do feel like this is a sell, sell, like buy. Still buy because it, it buffs our caterpillar nicely. Sell, buy, and then like... Th thanks for that buff. I really appreciate it. Um, I just feel like this is a, a team... I mean, we're probably going to lose this next round, but if we get, like, the perfect draw and then we live long enough for the Caterpillar to pop, like, there's... I feel like there's ways that this gets us there. It's so lucky for us we did not lose this round. A win is good, but not a loss is just the, the best thing we could have asked for. So you gotta go. You gotta go. Or you gotta be here. Then you gotta go. Then you gotta be here. Then you gotta go. Then you gotta come in here. And then you gotta... And I think we probably saved the chocolate. And I, I my guess... So unfortunate we can't buy this without losing the chocolate. It, it does suck. But whatever. Free, freeze it. Freeze it. Okay. I think we save this for next round. Let me get an iguana. I don't think it's going to be relevant, but as a just-in case, okay. Because one chocolate allows the caterpillar to become a butterfly and also gives us the buff of getting a higher tier shop unit. I can't believe the iguana got a kill. It didn't matter at all in the whole scheme of things, but I, I simply cannot believe how lucky that is. Okay, so let's start with the level. It would be nice on our dragon as well, to be honest, but it is what it is. Big buffs. So we're, we're taking a 17-18 and turning it into a 23-32. That's pretty good. That's not, a, that's not something we should be mad about. And then there is melon armor in this pack, so a mosquito is not necessarily as useless as it may appear at first glance. And we're now at the point where our stork... Please? Oh my god! I don't think it's gonna matter, but still! We're now at the point where our stork is actually, like, generating useful units for us. Holy... Oh, you know what? I think the mosquito actually made all the difference there. I think we, we easily lose without it. That's crazy. You gotta be a little careful here. What I was gonna say is our stork is making useful units now because it's generating, like, tier fives for us. Stegosaurus is always... I mean, Stegosaurus is a 12-12 buff. I think I would rather, at least for one round, finish with the Stegosaurus as, like, our Terminus. And then we could sell the Stegosaurus to get the more permanent buffs and maybe buy more... And then I, I literally just did not do what I said I was going to do. <laughs> but then get more, uh, like get it finished with another Stegosaurus, possibly. I do hate seeing a 50-50 hippo. That's like horrible news. We have no possible recourse to get past it. Honestly, that's the value of a Stegosaurus there. You saw it for yourself. Sell me. Buy me. Probably, like, a pretty good time for, like, a, a buy me. Because you're so close to maxing already. And then, like, you're going to be a 40-30. 40-30 scares me because a 50 could kill you. So there's a part of me that wants to put the melon on you. You can't put it on the caterpillar, unfortunately. I'm going to send it. I'm going to wing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope for the best. I'm going to save some good buyable sellables. And sure, another drag. I mean, if we're gonna get to ten, we gotta. We're gonna need a little luck, <laughs> without a doubt. Okay, so you got you got level one death touch that's going all the way to the back. Having it on the back line unit is probably the best that that could have gone for us. We got some strong units coming up. I'm not. I'm sure your fly is like almost done. We actually win this. Okay. 
scary team. I mean, what Death Touch kind of blows us out, which is why the melon armor is so important. Are we really going to sell, sell a Stegosaurus for this? I think we are. And then we're going to buy. It's risky. Oh, we, well, we can't run two dragons. Like, how are you going to fit two dragons in here? It can't be done. And then if you're not getting the Stegosaurus buff, you should take this because you're still the highest statted unit. You should take this. Roll me. And then we get... We, I mean, Death Touch is also amazing, but sell the cow. Roll once. No level ones. We get you out there. I'm thinking you're 43, 32. Sure. Okay. I don't know if this has the legs to get us to 10. But a, a strong unit with melon armor that then summons a unit is really nice. That's a very positive thing. But then they have a very strong unit as well. In fact, they have a number of very strong units back here. But honest, holy cow, we actually get there. Okay. Every round is going to be like that from this point on. So, you know, just get ready. We'd really like to get another Stegosaurus here. But even though we... I know it seems crazy to sell... Um, I, I really just can't take you, I think. It seems a little crazy to sell a Stegosaurus and then be like, you know what would really hit the spot here is a Stegosaurus, but I'll freeze you. So we did not get our Stegosaurus. Again, things that will look a little crazy. Woodpecker literally just existing to possibly break melon armor on the frontline opponents. It's kind of just existing to take a shot is the other thing. I don't see that we can get through this. No. But all in all, I actually feel pretty good about that. I think we rode the lightning on that one, and, and we don't have to be too negative about it. I love this start. I'm not afraid. I'll shout it from the rooftops. I love this start. Iconic computer. Like the original hard plastic translucent iMac. Iconic. Maybe it's not the original, but you know what I mean. It might also be the original, just to begin with. I love it. Good start. And you, it, I'll take it a step further. I would say two of these is fine. I do like getting the 1-1 one, one buff, but... I, I also like the plus 2 HP, but let me get a 1... Instead of plus 2 HP, let me get a 1-1 one, one, and then another random shot at the start of battle. I don't know. I'm not going to go through the analysis of what mathematically is the best based on the, the matrix multiplication of who's most likely to get hit where, especially because it just ended in a draw for us regardless. But I think that this is fine. And we, we get our level regardless. I still think you, a, a frozen peach is fine here, like a little Bellini. I'm with, I, the camel has never really worked out greatly for me in this pack, but I'm willing to give him a chance. And rather than just buy a unit, well, actually, to be honest with you, what essentially amounts to a two gold apple, probably worth about the same as a peach. So plus we get the two one animal attached to it. This is the worst squad I've ever seen. They're, they're on a different wave right now. They're going for something, um, you know, maybe they're playing versus or they, they know something I don't know. They're trying to create like one big tamarind and then sell it into a hippo or something. I don't know. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I don't think we have to sell the mouse until we get something that feels like it's worth selling the mouse for. We also want to sell our beetle. And to be honest, we also want to sell our duck unless they would be so nice as to grant us a level up. But they don't appear to be too interested in that. It's a loss. Not by too much. I'm okay with this. So what are we at? Two wins, three HP down. Two wins, two HP down. Perfect. Wait, would you look at this? Okay. Well, I would sell, and I'm going to feed the camel, maybe against my better judgment. I never do this. Let's try to get a level two snail. I, you had, dude, honestly, a rooster goes off. What do you, you give two HP to everything in the shop? Like, you're a better sell, but you give us more value off of it. So, that, you know, let's give the rooster a little support. It could use it. And then roll me again. Now, as much as this might not look like perfect, 
Kind of need some garlic on our camel as well, but we can find a place for meat. Pineapple, I, I haven't even been looking for pineapples, but they, they would get some work done for us as well. Um, forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I don't really know. Oh, what I was going to say is we could still get a snail. Like, we could still get a level 2 snail. We just need a snail to show up right now. So things look like they're not going that well. I think that's fair. I think it's a fair assessment of things. I don't really want to do woodpecker camel. I don't think that's the sauce I'm missing. I think as much as garlic would be good, I think you getting some favorable trades would also benefit us. Let's give you some of that. Let's roll once. I was really hoping the snail would come out. With no snail, give me one of these. I'll, recognize, I'll be the first person to recognize that I would love to get rid of this beetle and I would love to get rid of this snail. Both of those would, would hit me in a spot that I would find it not unpleasant to be hit in. But I'm telling you, this team's no slouch. An honest objective appraisal of Super Auto Pets I think that the rooster might be the best animal in the game. Sure. Okay. You know what? It can't hurt too much. What makes me say such insane sentences such as this? Well, okay, maybe, maybe. I do kind of want to croissant you as well, but we're, we're, we're a little stuck. Basically, a level three rooster is a, it, it, I'm mostly speaking from verses, which is not maybe a fair frame of reference, but a level three rooster is very hard to beat. If you get to like a, well, let's just say 50-50, just for argument's sake. If you get to a 50-50 rooster, it becomes, at, at level three especially, it becomes very difficult uh, to, to build a team that gets too far past it. By the way, I'm not really trying now to do level two snail. I've just kept it frozen so long that now I feel like I have to get some value out of it. So <laughs> I apologize. I uh, would not suggest that this is a good move in the slightest, but here I am. You could make an, I don't know, maybe the tiger, the, like the white tiger is better now. I don't know. Maybe, there, maybe there's just a lot of stuff that's better and I'm not thinking this through fully, but... With the squad we have available, to be honest, I'm just going to pump you with some extra HP. We are not scaling fast enough right now. Our best unit being a 719 is, is not enough. But it's, it's been enough. <laughs> Even though I say it's not enough, it appears to have been enough to get us at least a 6. Uh... And we're probably, this is just how it goes. We're probably going to lose our next round. But I think we got to say goodbye to the snail. But maybe I'll spend three gold to get two back and it'll give me a tier six. I don't think the lioness is the way. But I do think we're here. Let's give it a, a chance. I would rather have a scorpion. I, I, I don't really mind, by the way, a chili pepper. I just don't know, again, if it's part of our plans long term. But... I, I'd, I, Scorpion could get sniped. It would break my heart. But I love the, the, the trade it gave us there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come, come on. What the heck? It's so strong. It's really hard to beat a scaling team like that. Our team is not scaling. <laughs> Obviously. Um, okay, so I have to do this because it's funny. I'm sorry to those of you who don't base their decision on how to play the game based on what's funniest. Um, well, this is, I'm spoiled for choice on this. Honestly, you gotta go, and then we gotta buff the rooster. Like... Stegosaurus is like, it's one of those units I, I can't live with myself if I don't take it and I lose. If I take it and I don't win, that's life, man. That's super auto pets. It happens all the time. But if I don't take it and then I lose, I'm like, I'm stupid. Okay. Happy to have the Stegosaurus. Would love to, happy to draw, I should say. Would love to get a rooster, which is what I was about to say. Would love to give it some melon armor. Would love, I don't, you gotta, you're not doing anything, buddy. You're not doing anything anymore on round 12. But you're lucky because I don't feel like I can kill you just yet. 
I also don't feel like Melon has a natural home here. So I don't think our team is very good. And I accept that that's on me. That's incredibly good luck. It's, it's actually good luck for us that it fell to the back. But we're not going to win this. Actually, you know what? I might have I might have spoken slightly too soon. We're we're gonna draw at least. I did say we're not gonna win, so I guess that's true. But I would take a Stegosaurus. It's really. I mean, people will probably say sell the Scorpion instead, but I, the Camel cannot be a part of our long-term game plan. I don't think the monkey of the Spinosaurus can be either. I don't think anything here can be, but we get one more roll. I think you could maybe uh, you could maybe make a case for the fly, but it's not ideal by any stretch. At least it gives us... Basically, our fly gives us three potential melon breakers. You're going to steal my peanut. But you're not going to... Oh, then you stole my melon! Holy cow! <laughs> the most incredible unit I've ever seen in my entire life, dude. Okay, we're not going to get past this shark. And that's okay. I st Look, I still had a lot of fun. I got to put some respect on that raccoon. We're not going to run the raccoon every time as a result of seeing that happen, but that is funny. Maybe as, a, as something in the late game, just to mix it up. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Obviously, radio. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.